going off people's buckshot here and I've been promising a video about the uh, CTIA that happened in uh, Florida according to Phenom it's a telecommunications and internet association um, according to NUCA it is cellular cellular telecommunication <laughs> oh my god cellular telecommunications and industry association so I can frankly give a fuck what it is but uh give you a rundown on what's what and what's popping in the android world basically um I know people have been asking about the evo 3d or evo 3d hd 3d however you want to put it um it's official and it dropped basically what's going on with that is we have a 4.3 inch glasses free 3D screen. It has a 1.2 dual gigahertz processor, so uh, that should be booking in well enough for everything else. Let's see what else we got here. Da -da -da -da. It's going to have the WiMAX for the uh, Sprint 4G, I imagine. Mobile hotspot. It's got dual 5 megapixel cameras. One is regular lens, the other one will shoot in 3D up to 720p for 3D content, 1080p playback, and it will also shoot in uh, 720p, I believe, for uh, regular camera. It's going to run Gingerbread Android 2.3 with Sense UI, and it also does have a HDMI output. So, sounds pretty impressive and promising. 1.2 gigs, boogie in, you know, anything with the Android OS nowadays. That's the dual core should be running very smooth. It shouldn't have a problem. Now we'll bang off to the Evo View. Maybe, from my understanding, it was the HTC flyer which got scratched. I guess after uh, everybody else been coming up with their tablets and whatnot. So basically, they came out with the Evo View 4G. It's a gig and a half um, processor gonna have the wide match for the 4G it also has the uh, 7 inch screen um, it's running Android 2.2 sense UI it's got 32 gigs of storage um, I'm pretty much sure this was the HTC flyer tablet that they basically changed uh, I don't know for whatever reason it's, but that's pretty much it it's gonna have a 1.3 megapixel front camera uh, it's got a 1024 by 600 screen, so that's pretty nice. Uh, 7 inches, and that's it. No other full specs out at the moment. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's it. I think it has a 5 megapixel rear camera as well. <clears throat> so, that covers the uh, Evo shit going on around the world. I know everybody was hyped about it because. Sprint users really have a lack of Android phones. All they really have is the, I mean, that are good phones is the Evo and the Epic. Um, I'm pretty sure Epic got 2.2 by now, but uh, I hope it did shit because it's running 2.1. That sucks. Round three, get my daughter keeps interrupting. Samsung Galaxy Tab line seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven inch tablet was a Wi-Fi version release, I believe. Didn't really hear anything about it. I'm almost positive it's coming out for I want to say uh, it's four ninety nine. I think I could be bugging, but uh, Samsung also released the uh, eight point nine inch tablet or announced the eight point nine inch tablet along with the ten point one inch tablet. Both of them will be running Honeycomb. They're saying that it's going to be uh, ten hours of battery life. They're going to run TouchWiz 4.0, which is based off of, uh, or based for Honeycomb, which is tablets. Um, and the surprising thing about it is that they're actually competing with the iPad 2. Um, you know, this is probably the biggest competition that the iPad 2 will have. You know, uh, you're talking for a 16 gig, 10.1 we're talking, is $499, Wi-Fi version only. Uh, they didn't price anything on the 3G or 4G models. So you got the 32 gig also coming out for $599. Um, this is slated for, I believe, June 18th or something along that lines of a uh, release, the 
and the 8.9 is promised for this summer. And I believe the 8.9 Wi-Fi only 16 gig version was uh, priced at around 469, I believe. Uh, like I said, dual core processors, Tegra 2. They'll have the Tegra zones on there for all the uh, Tegra 2 games, and uh, that's pretty much the Galaxy tabs. Um, they look pretty dope. Apparently, they are thinner than the iPad 2. Um, phenomenal screens. They're going to have a 3 megapixel rear camera, which I thought it was odd with flash, and a 2.0 uh, 2 megapixel front facing camera. Um, I believe it's going to have the sense of Media Hub for instant movies and things of that nature. Um, but it looks pretty dope. I plan on getting my hands on one. I kind of got the S4 tablet right now, and I don't know if I want to wait, honestly, because it zooms too much. And the one I really want is the uh, LG Optimus Pad or the LG T Mobile G Slate, which uh, was making some noise and then it just died down, but it was spotted. Nothing was really said. That's got the uh, 5 megapixel rear facing camera, 1080p playback, 720p recording, 720p 3D recording and also 720p 3D, 3D playback uh, but it's not glasses free but uh, apparently that's supposed to be going for like 750 so it's going to be a little cheaper than the uh, Motorola Zoom but I don't know if I want to fucking spend that much if, I, if you're talking about a fucking you know 8.9 tablet that uh, it's going to be 500 bucks I'm sold you know I might wait we'll see you know, the other tablet that's out there is the Dell Street 7. Uh, it is running Android 2.2. But uh, the good folks at XDA Development, if you haven't been there, you should go there. They already got a recovery image on there. Someone's porting over Honeycomb, and that's promising because you're talking it's a $389 Wi Fi only tablet, 7 inch tablet, dual core processor. Um, I believe it has an SD slot. Um, so. I mean, bang for your buck if so ports honeycorn is worth it in my opinion. If not, won't even fucking bother. Now let's see what else we got to mention here. We talked about the Samsung tablets, the Evo 3D HD, which everybody's hyped about. You know, I'm trying to buy into this 3D thing. Um, I'm not really sure if it's gonna be worth it in the long run or if it's just a trend right now. Obviously it's not dying down. Um I don't know. I mean, how useful is your 3D phone going to be, or how useful is it going to be if it records in 3D? Um, to my understanding, like, are you going to sit at home and put glasses on and watch them on your TV? I don't know, but I guess when that time comes, we'll find out. If it's dope, it's dope. If it's not, I'm sure it'll die out. Now we also. I have the uh, Blackberry Playbook. The Blackberry Playbook is going to be running Blackberry OS. Do I really have to fucking say anything else? Um, from what I heard, the rumor was that it's supposed to have the Android market. Um, that's what they're saying on websites. That would be a great thing because maybe you'll see a Android Blackberry one day. Who knows? But uh, I don't know. I'm not sold on the Blackberry. They're just dying, and they're, you know, I don't know. But it's got some great specs. It's a one gigahertz dual core processor, one gigahertz RAM. Um, says it has multitasking. Uh, I don't know. It's got a three megapixel high definition front facing camera. 5 megapixel rear facing high definition camera. It will have 1080p video playback, video calling. Okay, that's obviously not phone calling. Let's see what else we got. It says Blackberry OS. Um, you know, it's got 1 gig of RAM, 7 inch display, 1024 by 600, so that's nice. Multi touch, obviously. Um, but it's running Blackberry OS. So, how how good is it going to be? And it's actually cheap. That's a 499er. From uh, my understanding, you can actually pre order it at Best Buy today if you'd like. If you'd like. 